Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be working on how to color grade your pictures on Capture One. Let's get into it. Um, so I have a picture of my model here. And then I'm using only two panels on Capture One for color grading. Um, so the first thing I normally work on is the curves. I use this curve to work on the, the brightness and darkness of the picture. So I'll be making the picture a little bit darker. And I'll be removing the shadows a little bit. Right. Then we have our labels. You can see our waveform. Normally, using the labels as an indicator, your the this. Uh, your darkness is supposed to be up to this level, so all you need to do is to just move this somewhere here, and then <coughs> the picture is actually underexposed using this uh, waveform as a reference. So you can also move this way. And now, the next thing is the clarity. The clarity is like uh, sharpening for your image while the structure can so flash to your texture. We have the dynamic range where we have the highlight, shadow, whites, and black. So you can remove your highlights all the way so you get more details in your picture while you have. Parts that are actually too dark on your picture, so you can just increase your shadow to make to make the the dark details more pronounced. Then you can increase your black, so the black can be can look more pronounced. We have our exposure here, so the only thing I normally touch on exposure is the saturation. This picture is already well exposed and balanced, so. I'll just increase the saturation a little bit. And then we have our before and after. Before and after. So the next thing I'll be working on is the white balance. For the white balance, we have uh, the temperature and we have the tints for the temperature. You can easily move this way, which makes your picture cool. Or you move towards your right and that makes your picture warm. Uh, so for this particular picture, I want to make it a little bit yeah. Press hold and press and hold this reset button to see the before. Then we need to see the after. So we move to the next panel. So what we just did is actually uh, what I like to call color correction. That's Correcting the whole color and making sure everything is just balanced and normal. Then on this panel, you can actually work on the colors more creatively. This is the place where you can actually play with colors, change some colors if you want, and make the whole thing a uh, creative process. So <coughs> I have my color editor here. We have the basic. So basically, we have about three colors here. We have the blue, we have yellow, and then we have red. thing is, our skin color is actually a combination of yellow and red at the same time, so <coughs> I think we are good to go. So I have yellow. There are a lot of things we can do with the yellow. We can easily reduce the saturation all the way. But then I would rather increase the saturation to make the color more pronounced. We have have our red, this red, whatever you do to the red, it actually affects your skin because the skin color actually contains red and yellow, so whatever you do to the red can affect your skin color, then you can still make a little bit of an adjustment here. <coughs> um, and then the next thing I normally do is the skin tone, you can actually work on the skin tone and make it more uniform and balanced. You can see some 
pictures actually have uh, different colors of the face and then different color of the bone and other, other parts of the skin, especially <coughs> pictures where your body is actually wearing makeup. You see that the skin co the color of our hands or neck are usually different from the color of the face and other these things when you can actually make corrections on that. So what I normally do is pick your pick on your pick card and pick the particular parts of the in the face then under uniformity here. This actually makes the whole color uniform. Which you can use to, you know, tweak to the right to make the skin have more red, or you can tweak to the yellow side. And, and we have the saturation, which you can choose to increase or decrease. Let me increase this a little bit. So on this uh, particular skin tone, I will still have to make another tutorial video on. The perfect way to get the perfect skin tone. So I hope we'll be able to do that, and I hope you guys will be ready to to watch the video too. And then we have our color balance. The color balance is actually a separation of your shadow, mid tone, and highlights. And this color balance actually works on your entire image. It does not work on a particular point at the time. Whatever you do to the shadow actually affects the whole shows the whole shadows in the picture actually and whatever you do to the mid tone to affect the whole mid tone in the picture so for the shadow you can actually choose a particular color thing for the shadow and for this shadow i would want to use blue then for the mid the mid tone it's advisable to use the skin color as your mid tone so um, see here then the highlights kind of gives your picture a particular feeling. So you can I'll be using green for this to want the image to look sort of greenish. So yeah. And that will be also we have black and white. You can also use um black and white on the image. So now let's see before and after, before, after, before, after. I hope you find this tutorial uh, very helpful and <clears throat> I hope you have subscribed to my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell so you can get notifications anytime I drop new videos. Thank you and watch out to Thank you and watch out for the next video.